Shashan's gang. It's the girl, pretty girl Shashan. I'm back with another video. Period. Yeah. If you're new here, what's good? What's popping? If you're a returning subscriber, what's good? What's popping to YouTube? Sis? Okay, okay. Please do not forget to click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I put out a new video. And do not forget to support a small black owned business at Shaw's Fresh Paradise. The link is going to be in the description down below. Without further ado, let's get straight. All right, now, so how did I meet my celebrity crush, Trey Song? <laughs> All right, so boom, it was my birthday weekend and nothing was going my way. When I say nothing was going my way, like, <laughs> part of the reason why, if you watch this video, go ahead and watch this video on my 22nd birthday. It was that video that, like, that showed everything. But long story short, we had an Airbnb and we were supposed to do a game night and one in, in the Airbnb. And when we went to go check in and meet with the guy, um, he lived right behind us. <laughs> he ain't like in the picture, it didn't show that he lived right behind us. And there was cameras and stuff like that. And it was just, he was very strict. Like he was real, so that made me late to the dinner that I was supposed to go to. We were supposed to go to some fancy restaurant. I forgot why we ain't, um, no, I, I do, that, that's why we ain't go, because we were late. And I'm always late anyways, but anyways, we ended up not going to a restaurant. Our reservation got canceled, and we was going to Prime 1, we, we decided to book another restaurant to go to Prime 112. Boom. It's time we booked Prime 112 and we're running late. Cause per usual, I'm a late person. Do not be like me. <laughs> I am working on being on time. Driving to go to Prime 112 and we're late per usual. And I'm over here like, okay, um, I'm like kind of like in a rush because I didn't want them to cancel this reservation. So I get out the car, we, we're at Prime 112, I get out the car and I tell my friends, listen, go, go park the car, I'm gonna let them know that I'm here, or whatever. So I walk in, I go inside the booth, I mean the little, you know, receptionist thing. I was like, I walk in like a bad chick, cause it's my mother freaking birthday. So I'm just like, hello, um, I have made a reservation for Cheyenne. Um, I'm here. And she was like, okay, give, it, give us one moment, we'll seat you down. So I'm over here waiting, but I'm like looking at them or whatever. And there's this figure next to me. I can't see because the the, um, the restaurant is dark. So he comes into my ear and he was just like, happy birthday, baby. <laughs> I, first of all, first of all, I was not like that. How I was was, I'm like, I'm from the hood. Like, first of all, you don't come into somebody's ear like that, especially if I don't know you. So I eased him up, down and up. So then that's when I looked at his face and I kept it, I was, bitch, when I say I was like, I kept it cool, I kept it cool though. I was just like, thank you. And <laughs> he was like, you wanna take a picture? I was like, yes. <laughs> like, I was real calm. I wasn't excited because was, I remember one time when me and my ex we went to where we went to we went to the mall or whatever, and we seen Little Dirk, and I was so excited. I was like, "Oh my God, can I take a picture?" And then I made him take a picture of us, and he was so mad because he was like, "Oh, you acted like a groupie, any mother freaking ways." Um, yeah. So he was like, "Oh, um, I'm like, yeah." and then I'm over here with my ass not thinking because I'm already crazy so I'm putting my purse on the floor bitch sis don't ever put your purse on the floor it means you broke my ass about to put my purse on the floor he was like no no let me hold it for you baby so he held my purse and then we took pictures we took two pictures we took a selfie and then we took first of all he was standing there like a regular guy and he had his bodyguard and after that like he just left with his bodyguard and then my friends came in and I told them I said hey son and they was like oh my god we ain't saying blah 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 so yeah that was the story how I met Trey Songs. Now let me tell you guys the real tea. This 
is how you attract rich niggas. If you wanted to know, keep on watching, all right? Because he could have went, he could have went to any other girl. He probably did, but he chose to talk to me. So there's gotta be like some type of reason. Okay, my phone had died, so but we're back and the sun is hitting right now. Anyways, so in order to attract a rich nigga or a nigga that you just want, first of all, you have to be that female. Like, be that female. Don't, don't settle for nothing that you don't have already. Meaning, if you have a car, you better not settle for nobody that don't have a car. Period. If you want somebody that's like, you know, fit, that's disciplined, like, you have to be able to, like, acquire those things. And I'm sorry, but you're not going to attract a rich nigga looking fat, obese, and lazy. Like, I'm gonna be completely honest and this this is regarding something that this is this stems from something that kevin samuels kind of said i forgot what he said but i'm not gonna throw no shade to this is not me body shaming or anything like that but like there were so many people from high school that i went to school with that looked so freaking beautiful and like after high school it looked like they just didn't care no more went down and you know some people they be thinking that this mother freaking oh it's happy way yeah happy way is a real thing but it's like no it's not it's like it's not happy way you're getting like you're losing yourself there's a difference between happy way and like healthy like happy way which is like healthy way and there's a difference between like girl you just don't care about yourself and you think you're gonna attract a guy with money like an nba player or a rapper or a doctor looking like you're not up to par or at least healthy no no it's not about being big it's about keeping yourself up all right like when they say health is wealth health is dead ass wealth and, and ain't nothing wrong with the juicy girls i love me some juicy women like but you gotta be juicy and healthy you want a nigga with money, you have to make money first. You have to work on yourself. When you start working on yourself and developing yourself, it it also shows like what type of a certain type of discipline that you're willing to like have when working with yourself. You gotta be able to like die to your old self. Bad habits of yours and like start becoming. It all starts with you. To be honest, the whole relationship is based off on you. <laughs> It really is because a guy is going to react based on what you do, based on what you allow. I don't even know how the hell I got into this conversation. But in order to attract, just make sure that you become a better version of you. And the best version of you is the disciplined version of you. The person that you want is already going to have that and just come and help you with it. And you, like looking up to par being confident working on your self-confidence you can be a big juicy girl but you have your confidence up there it's like nobody can't tell you crap i know for a fact nobody can't tell me crap Period. so make sure you look you dress the part and what i mean by dress the part i'm not talking about no trashy cheap fast fashion ish i'm talking about some like you, you get a lot of attention the way you dress as well. So some guys, when they see you dressing like trashy, they going not think you're a hoe. But when you dress like classy, maybe a little sexy, show a little skin, you know? A little skin, who doesn't want to be sexy? But like when you when you dress like good, sis, they gonna come. And the perfect place to go there to dress classy and sexy, bitch, is Shots Fresh Paradise. Please make sure you guys check this page out. Like, just click it and see for yourself. And another thing is your energy. Guys have like this thing where they can like sense a girl that doesn't have confidence or doesn't love herself. So the minute that a guy like peeps that, sis, they know that they can use you, they can mess with you, and all of that things they could treat you like shit because guess what you don't value yourself and when you give guys too much 
like friendliness and bubbly at, at the beginning is like okay now I'm gonna use some of that I'm, I'm gonna use her that's why when um my when I in the beginning when I told y'all my ex was like oh he was acting like a groupie he was right like I was I can't even like I can't even get mad at him for that because it's like why the hell am I getting so excited over a rich nigga like when you buy a rich nigga you gotta keep it cool calm like okay yeah he got influence um act like you got influence too <laughs> you, you do got influence i don't care if you work at mcdonald's i don't care if you work at um mother freaking um i don't know chipotle and stuff like that you are high value women okay you got this act like you're up there because soon you're gonna be up there yeah but when you're around these niggas just keep it cool keep it like oh like your their fame don't um don't phase you that was something that little Dirk did with india when india first came um when Dirk was first talking to india like he was like kind of like shocked because she wasn't you know excited about him <laughs> some of the things that i learned i wasn't always like this like showing that you have confidence but you're not to be played with in order to show that you walk in the room and you're the light. Like all that side stuff gotta go. You gotta walk in the room with your shoulders back. And I'm pra I'm still practicing this, but you gotta be able to make eye contact because that shows that. Listen, you gotta be, you gotta be passive aggressive a little bit. Like what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, like you can be convincing. I I honestly don't feel like girls should approach guys because i already know that if you approach a guy the guy is going to like that's going to give him a free way that you love him or he love you he ain't going to chase you you just came to him so it's obligated to use you if you want to make this is my way of you making your mark with the guy all you have to do is be in the room with your feminine energy looking cute like yourself Look at him. Smile. Just a little bit. Not too much. Don't ever do too much. Look away and go act like you're busy, bitch. You better act like if you have a friend, you better act like you're on the phone where you're, you're about to talk to your friend or whatever. Or be on the phone. Act like you're doing something busy because like that's that if you do that, that's how he's gonna motherfucking come. Okay? He's gonna come, and if he don't come, that's fine. God said he not the one. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I went off to a little tangent, but I just thank you guys so much for watching my video. We are on the road to 1K subscribers, y'all. Get me to 1K, because I'm trying to get monetized this year. So make sure you guys check out Shots Fashion Paradise. She's also gonna be down below, and we're going to be, um, doing a lot more pop-up shops so stay tuned for that and yeah thank you guys so much i'll see you in the next video